So let's look at guidance for a moment. Like, practically speaking, um, what we really encourage, and the people that I live with, we always encourage people to just speak, speak their thoughts freely, their hunches, their nudges, their intuitions, their feelings, you know. It's like, don't hold back. We don't want you to have kind of a guidance anxiety where everyone's like, I'm not going to speak it because it could be wrong. It could be judged if I say something. And, you know, it's actually, we encourage the sharing of ideas. In fact, let's call this sharing of these ideas suggestions. In other words, the Holy Spirit gives instructions, gives suggestions, but they have to be, even the guidance has to be, we'll call it a suggestion, because the Holy Spirit is not going to coerce you to follow. The Holy Spirit never says, turn right at this traffic light, or else <laughs> you, you're going to get it. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't turn right. No, the Holy Spirit offers the what? Suggestion. Turn right. Why is it a suggestion? Because you, you do seem to believe you have a choice. Mm. Although Ross, Ross would say, the script is written. But if you don't know the script is written, you believe you have choices in time and space. And if you believe you have choices, isn't Jesus very loving? These are suggestions. Guidance is really suggestions. It's offering us suggestions of what would save us from torment and hell. Loving suggestions that will actually lift us out of, of pain, of suffering, of, of delay. It, these suggestions actually save time. They're miracles. They actually collapse time. They bring the Alpha and the Omega back together, the beginning and the end, because they're so loving.